Yep, she likes the microphone. <laughs> Hi there guys, welcome back to Geneva. We're in Eau Vive today. It's perfect timing, everything's happening at the same time so I quickly turned on. This is the tour train and it'll give you a little tour from the lake up to the flower clock, the two main attractions. So the Jet d'eau, it's nine francs for an adult and cheers man, and five francs for a child. Is it good? Yeah, worth the money? Yeah, she said so. Right, so Eau Vive. This is my favorite part of Geneva. I thought we'd start at the flower clock, so here it is. Then you've got the Ferris wheel there. So that is 10 francs for an adult. I don't know how much it is for a child. You get about four spins, you get a beautiful view of the city. This is going to be a long video, guys, so uh, I'm going to give you as much information about Eau Vive, my favourite part, like I said before. So this is the Jardin Anglais, or the English Garden. So we're going to go through here, we're going to head through the town, Rue des Eau Vive. I'm going to tell you something about the prices, um, accommodation, hopefully speak to some local people. And then we're going to go to the jet. And then I might, I might skip it for you because otherwise it will be a lot of me rambling. But some of you like that. And then we'll go to the beach and we'll chill out there. Maybe I'll get a quick beer. If you want to support the channel, you can below with buy me a coffee because YouTube aren't giving me some of the monetization money because apparently my videos are inappropriate. The red light district, the cannabis smoking and so on and so forth. So thank you so much. We made it to 1000. This is the English garden. So I'm going to give you a spin round, we'll see the fountain here. They've just redone all the grass because this is where they have the Christmas market and it was all crappy and mushy. But it's a really cool place to hang out. A little, so you've got your marbles and bearings of where you are. That is the Parada shop there. And we have done the main shopping streets in Geneva. That is Rue de Rhone there. So you've got Rue de Rhone, then the next shopping street parallel to that and then you're near the old town. Some dust on the camera screen. So everything's very compressed and small. I'll just show you this because it's pretty cool. The first time I ever came here, this was where I came, and a guy tried to sell me, would you earn some shit, some cannabis? And I, I thought he was trying to sell me shit. <laughs> that was the first question a stranger ever asked me. And here we are still here. Wow, what a strange city. So there it is, obviously the famous Jet d'eau. That is part of Eau Vive as well. And originally it wasn't there. It was, it was an accident why the Jet d'eau is here. Um, a pipe exploded near the Lusine, a factory down by, um, near the Conavan area, Jean-Chon Conavan. And they thought it was cool for a tourist attraction, so they moved it there. And there's actually a really cool road where when you turn round you can see it hiding behind corners. It's a bit like, it's the Eiffel Tower of Geneva, a very moderate version of the Eiffel Tower. Hello, do you speak English? Yes, so we will speak to you. Where, where are you Swiss? Yes, I speak English. Are, are you Swiss? You just came yes. back from New York. Swiss oh, you New came York. back from yeah, New York? Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah, so I, we, I'm gonna take them to New York. Where did you stay? Manhattan and uh, Brooklyn. And I live in both places. In terms of prices compared to here, was it more expensive or less? It was double there. Double double there. Double wow, double. okay. Yes, one bedroom is uh, 250 at least. Wow. And, and do you know about the prices of accommodation in Eau Vive? Oh, well, 250 for one bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oui, oui. So, oui, okay. it's ah, so, 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 yeah, because yeah. you take the best place here. Because like this, this is a vlog about Eau Vive specifically. This, okay. is, this is the central part. This, yeah, I actually just said that the Jet d'eau is kind of like a, a rubbish version of the Eiffel Tower in terms of a tourist attraction in Geneva. Exactly. It's, it's like the main attraction, isn't Here, it? Yeah. But just so they know, if, if there are tourists coming from America or England, yeah. I, I'm going to tell them that Eau Vive is the best place to stay. Uh, Where would you say? 
Pour la thune, non, mais pour... Ouais, c'est... It's kind of right. Oui. Yeah? It's a nice place to be. Yeah, because you've got the main yeah, attractions. The park, the beach, the lake. Yeah, I was thinking that. So, in terms of uh, New York or here, would you rather live there or here? This is France. <laughs> because here, during the week, yeah. at 7, everything is closed. Yeah. yeah. You finish. But <laughs> New York, you know, the lifestyle, the night lifestyle is so much better than here. And one more question, because I've got to make this... I've got to walk all the way to the beach in like 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Yeah. Beach, cinema. No, I mean the, uh, uh, the, the plage. Oh, uh. But I was going to say uh, Zurich or Geneva, if you're Swiss. Which one's better? Geneva. Geneva? Geneva. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Geneva. Yeah, yeah, Geneva. Sure. And what do you think the people in Zurich said about Geneva? German are boring. <laughs> I come from Zurich. Oh, really? I'm not smart. Uh, no, no. No, the, 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 no, the, no, 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 the no. Swiss Germans, they are not keen on Geneva, no? <laughs> They're not friendly. But do you want to know something? It is the best city. Yeah. From, yes. from an English yeah. point of view. Where are you from in England? I'm from Oxford and then I lived in Bournemouth. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Give us your channel. Uh, travel with Will. Travel with Will. Will, yeah, okay. that's me. Yeah. All right, right. cheers, guys. Nice you, Thank you, bye. Okay. Yeah, it's always good to have a chat with the local people. Now, I want to show you this one tree here. That is my favorite tree in Geneva, by the way. So, he said that New York was pretty cool. We want to go to New York. This is going to be a long, long video, but it's going to be a good one. This might actually be my favorite video I've done so far, because I'm excited to show you this, because it's my favorite part of Geneva. Now, this boat here never moves. This is like a restaurant bar. It's open in the night. Like he said, there isn't much nightlife here, but phew, I mean, You've got the beauty, the lack of crime, um, you know, a bit more sophistication than other cities in Europe, but that comes at a price. You don't want all people coming, getting drunk and being sick everywhere. Uh, the La Reserve is a really posh hotel on the other side of the lake, near Versoire. If you're into spas and stuff, that's the best one to go to. So, like I said, we're doing this, which is Oviv. I like to call this part of Oviv, but it's kind of between two places. So, Oviv, it's got that kind of elegance. All buildings are the same size. Some say the buildings look a bit like Paris, but it's give or take what you think. And that side over there is Paki. It's the other side of the lake. We will be doing that. That is the red light district. So, here we go. We're going to go into the town now. So that's the park. We will head to the jet, like I said. And then after the jet, we've got the boat dockyard. And then they built a new Geneva, like, uh, it's like a baby plage, like a beach area. But it's stone, so it's not as good as some of the other areas on the lake. Anyhow, let's go to the street. Right, so I just left you at the lake. Now we're at Rue des Oviv. So now we're in the city part of Oviv. I'm going to chop this video up for a change. Let me know what format you prefer. One long video with me doing edits or the way I normally do it, short videos with lots of information. So this is the main road, Rue des Oviv. I'm going to spin you round so you've got a, an idea of where we are in the city. I actually really like this building here. Right, so basically we're gonna head down here and I told you at the lake area in the English garden that we're gonna see the jet down one of the streets here. But I'm just gonna let you point of view walk down here so you've got an idea. But before we do that, I'm gonna tell you how much a haircut costs in Geneva. Why not? Right, so for a man, basic cut, it's 22 francs. With a shampoo, five. So that's expensive.
Now, like I said, all roads this way lead to the lake and the, the, the lake and the English garden is more that way, more to the left. So in terms of prices of accommodation, the man said it's very expensive here. It's a nice part of the city. I do have a friend that lives literally down this road here. Oh, there's a homeless man here. We could have a quick chat with him. Hello, do you speak English? A little? Where, where are you from? Yeah. Oh. I, I come back later, I, when I finish. Good luck, yes, we'll buy him some food, why not? We'll be, I think he didn't understand what I was saying. Uh, so I have a friend that lives down here, on the end here. And she has a studio and it costs 1,800 and it's small. I do know other people that have looked at apartments here. So a three room apartment can be as much as 2,400, 2,800 for a bit bigger one. So it's a very expensive part of Geneva. In terms of bus routes, you can get the two, the six, the E and the G. And all the information on the tickets are in the other videos. I do have a lot of Geneva videos in the box below. So let me know if you're watching the playlists as well, because I've put a lot of time and effort into that. So let's try and stop some local people. The main shopping is Migro. This hamburger foundation has been about four different restaurants in five years. Oh, they do have an ice cream place here. So I want to see if they have lychee ice cream. Let's quickly have a look at the menu. Yeah. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Do you live here? Yes. What, in OV? No. No, but it's... Uh, yes. yeah, can, can I... Do you live in OV? Right, can I ask you some questions? It's for tourists. Do you mind? Yes. Thank you very much. So, so it's about the pricing here. OV, if it's nice to live in, it's expensive? Quite expensive. Uh, yeah. yeah? So in terms of the city, why did you pick OV? my parents <laughs> yeah they did but uh, it's close to the lake so oh yeah it's nice we've got a park oh yeah there, so and how, how much in general not like your rent but in general how much is like a studio here or a two bedroom in uh, ov studio i would say like 1100 maybe right yeah quite expensive and then it's like for like two bedrooms, mm -hmm. it's about 2,000. 2,000, right. 2, so it, I thought it would be more actually, because some of the other places have. It depends. Yeah. If you're very close to the lake, it's more. It's going to be super expensive. So yeah. Like if you live right there, yeah. it's going to be less expensive. And I'm saying that OV is my favorite part of the city. Okay. Do you think that as well? What do you yeah, yeah, I enjoy it a lot. You might. Yeah. Uh, the center. The center. Oh, Reeve, really? yes, that's yeah. true actually. But I, I will uh, continue. Now, would you class the English garden as part of OV? Jardin no. Anglais? No. No? Oh, well, I'm lying to Americans. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but thank you very much. Have a good evening. So, yeah, there we go. So, my friends are either paying a lot of money or they don't know all the facts. Um, hey, look at this window here. So, it, like I was saying, but there's hotels here as well, right? So, if you're coming as a family, this might not be the best option for you because the hotels are not top of the range. They're more for like business people or people who are just coming for a quick weekend. So, if you're a family, I'd go on the other side of the lake. But if you're just coming for a short weekend trip without loads of kids and stuff, then you can get some good hotels here. Just put in booking.com, put Geneva Oviv and you'll get a nice uh, selection there. Now, on the left, we're gonna see the jet. So, Oviv is two parallel streets, so you've got Rue des Oviv here, 
and then up there where the white building is is another road and that's basically the crapper part of Oviv. let's just say it as it is on this channel that's the not so good bit like he said the further back you are away from the lake the cheaper it will become this is a beautiful road here and you get a lot of really cool startup companies here young people like there was a cannabis shop there was some new cookie restaurant there and uh, a lot of um, skateboarding stuff it's kind of the hip part of town really and it's good for the nightlife as well and like I said the nightlife is the street parallel now what I do like to do is because I know this area quite well I'm gonna actually walk down here to go and have a look at the washing where people wash their clothes because that is a good place to find locals and then we'll do a bit of chopping we're gonna go to the jet why not but let's let's just have a wander around and here is one budget hotel I can recommend, Hotel Churchill, because it's cheap if you're just coming to explore the city. And it's just a bed, isn't it, if you're not on a proper holiday. That's not a bad one. So basically, you can just sit there and have a beer whilst waiting for your washing. There's no one in there that looks interesting, ladies and gents. We're not just going to talk to the riffraff. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to magically make you appear at the jet. So we have the technology. We're here at the jet d'eau. This is most probably the main attraction in Geneva. You've got a beautiful view of the old town there, the uh, St. Peter's Cathedral. Then over there you've got the Band de Paki. I have done videos on a lot of Geneva, they're all below like I keep saying. This bridge here was very uh, popular just a moment ago. I met a man from Tennessee, he'll be at the end of this video and there's some interviews at the end of this video. And he just said to me, oh I watched one of your videos uh before i came he's just arrived so that was super cool thank you for coming to speak to me that's so bizarre anyway so this is the walkway towards the jet d'eau we're going to go to the end have a good look and then i'm going to take you to the beach over there so we're doing all ovive today so i'm just going to let you walk down here on your own So we are going to get wet, you're not, but I can feel the water already. The sun's in my eyes, I forgot my glasses, what a bordel today is. So that's, <laughs> that's my favourite French word by the way. So we're nearly there, I, I'm getting wet, everyone's eating nice ice creams. Is that ice cream nice? Yeah. Was it overpriced? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you tourists? Yeah we are. Where are you from? England? Yeah, I thought I could recognise the accent. You know, it's, uh, actually, I've, I've just been speaking to people down there. Right. And an American man came up to me and went, oh, I watched your video. And then I was nearly fell in because I was so surprised because I do like a travel vlog. So coming from the UK, is it a weekend trip or is it a week trip? Oh, just weekend trip, yeah. And would you come again? Um, no. <laughs> no, why? Because it's overpriced or you were expecting more? Um, we were expecting a bit more. Yeah. What we saw is just like a mountain, frankly. Well, you know, this, like all price this, this wasn't meant to be here originally. Right. This was an accident. They actually, it was part of a factory down there and someone exploded a pipe and it came up. So it's kind of like the Eiffel Tower of Geneva. It kind of looks like this, yeah. But if you go into the old town and then down towards a place called Carouge, that's the little Italy of Geneva. Right, okay. So there are a lot of cool things to do. Or you could watch my YouTube channel <laughs> and you could go through all the Geneva videos. Right. Did you walk around the red light district? Not yet. Not yet. No, but that's Just fish ice cream and 
that is actually, it's fun around there. There's a few bars. You'll meet English people down there. Not with the prostitutes, I mean, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, well, you might do, but it's a fun place. And did you go that way? Not yet. Literally been just here for hours. Four hours. Yeah. Right, so you can't have an opinion. <laughs> right, this is so English, by the way, isn't it? This is so... Okay, one quick... Have you been to Bournemouth? Not yet. Right, have you been anywhere in England on the coast? Uh, to Brighton. Right, so Brighton or here? Right. Um, Wait, which one? I would go for Brighton. Brighton? Country. Yeah. Really interesting. It's cheaper, more fun. Um, I mean, it's nice, nice beach as well. Here's the original beach. And, and what did you? Th what would you say? The English coastline or here, the Lac Le Mans? Um, we prefer France, actually. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I like France as well. And yeah. also Milan, it's, it's nice. It's not far away. Right. But how overpriced was that? It was seven quid. Seven, see, seven francs for a tiny ice cream. But that's Ginny, and enjoy the beers later because they'll be ten each. <laughs> right. A gin and tonic, 22 francs. Okay. Yeah, so have a nice trip. You'll be in the Travel with Will OV special. Lucky okay. you. Lucky <laughs> you. All right, thank you. Yeah, Have a nice you. time. Bye. 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 So it is overpriced. And when I heard the accent, I thought I'd have to do a bit of, a bit of gossiping, a bit of talking away. Here we go. We're going to get wet now. Right, as we know, we've got the technology. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the baby plage now. Hi there, guys. So we're still in Oviv. We were just at the jet. We've gone all the way from the big Ferris wheel through the town here to the jet, and we're nearly the end of the video now. I just wanted to show you these uh, some cool free activities down by the lake here. You've got hockey there. This is obviously the boatyard, and then you've got these hammocks here. This is us uh, all out for the summer. So I'm hoping no one's playing any crap rap music. If I hear it, I'll spin you around so we can edit it out. But yeah, it's cool and they're free. And they put a nice sandbags full of flowers. But as you can see, it's a cool meeting place for people. Relaxing. And I think it's nice. It's, uh, people respect it. They don't have to put it away at night. All right, let's flip you around here. <laughs> That's a dog, but it looks like a beaver. Right, so you've got a little bar here as well. Like I said, the summer in Geneva, I would definitely come to Ovi without a shadow of a doubt. We've met some really nice people on this video as well. So please comment below your favorite parts of the city. This is all a bar. And then they've got a place where they do yoga in the mornings. The boat area, this has always been here, but they have expanded it. And then we're nearly at the little plage. The biggest park in Geneva is actually here as well. It's Parc des Ovives. And it's famous for having a nice view of the UN building, which is actually over there. You've got a lovely backdrop, by the way. Look at that jet there. And I did meet some English ladies. Hello, leave me a comment, I hope you did. And this was their first day, and I was thinking they could enjoy it more if they watched my videos, of course. <laughs> oh. Right, so they're very big on pallets in Geneva. This is a new activity. What you do is, is you just come and memorize the numbers on the pallets, 
and then you tell your friends those numbers and they have to find those pallets. That's a new game. So that is where they do the yoga in the morning, there. That is the big park I was telling you about. And in this video, we may well just go and have a look at it as well. So that's Parc des Ovives, another cafe. And I'm gonna flip you around so you can see the sandy beach before I get ran over by a little girl. Dangerous driving, dangerous driving. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to be too keen on the camera here actually, but this is the Geneva Plage. It's free as well. If you go to Lake Annecy, I've done that video, This you'd have to pay to come on here. It is sand. It's always open as well. And as you can see, it's nice. So originally this wasn't here. This bit of land was, but the bit over there where the concrete um, wall is that that's all new hello the people are very friendly in Geneva how could you not say this wasn't the best place in the city that this is the best place in the city I mean, people drinking wine, having fun. Oh, it brings a nice smile to my face. I do like it here. I think you can do barbecues here as well. Hello. Yeah, people are very friendly. So this part is all new. And there's a lovely restaurant bar over there where you can get a drink. We did interview the man from there. He lived in Annecy, if you saw that video. It was, do French people like English people? Something like that. We've done a lot of videos now. So basically we're gonna not walk around here too much, but I wanna take you to the park now. So we're in Oviv still. This is all still part of Oviv. And you've got this, I just had a strong whiff of cannabis. And then uh, people are working out here. It, how how often is this here? Every, every all year? Pardon? I'm doing a video for tourists. Yeah. So if an American tourist wants to do some exercise, I'm from Colombia. Th this is always here. It is always here. It's yeah, always course, here. Yeah. How many pull-ups do you think I can do? Uh, probably. Uh, do you work out? Ten. Well, ten. 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 Do what, you work pull out? Pull-up or that one? Uh, uh, well, well get, question, guess. Uh, guess. <laughs> what do you think? In, a, in just the first row. Yeah. Uh, for about no more than 20 though. No, no, you're right. Maybe, maybe 11. <laughs> maybe at a push. At a push. If you give me some free beer, I'll do 20. <laughs> All right. Oh no, everyone walks like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have a nice session. All right. Bye. Right. So we're gonna walk into the park now. Do you really think I can do that many pull-ups after a few beers? Let me know below in the comments. So we've made it to the park. This is the end of the OV of experience. Normally there's water here, but there isn't today. Or am I walking on water? I don't know. This is the entrance to the Rose Garden. This is Parc de la Grange. It's one of the, it's the biggest park in the city and it's very beautiful. And there's a lovely building up the top and we'll end the video there. So let's have a look through the Rose Garden. So as you can see, it's very peaceful. It's a nice place to come, especially if you've got the lake there, you can just come and chill up here. It's a bit quieter. They've not got the water running. I don't know why not, but it's nice here, isn't it? Do you know, I don't think I've ever been here when things are in bloom. I've always missed it. So like I said, we're still in Oviv. Let me know what you're thinking so far. You're not commenting enough. You're watching, but you're not, giving me any feedback. Uh, we have to work as a team on this. This is a, a team effort ensemble. I did see some people walking between the trees on tight ropes. It's beautiful, it's very nice. Oh, shit, I 
can see some people doing yoga up there. I have to go and speak to them. I don't do yoga, it's for a friend. You've seen Virginie, she's in some of the videos. I'm gonna drag her out to some more, and some new faces, hopefully. But she's the only one who's brave enough to come out and do the videos. And that is the building where Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin did that speech. And there's a beautiful view of the UN. That's why they did it. And this was all securityed off and whatever. So if you come, make sure there's not a big event happening like that because you won't be able to come in here. I love dogs. Look at these two. Wow, what a beautiful day. So, you're coming to Geneva. Now, what do you think? Oviv? I think so. Now you see what I mean. I would definitely come to Oviv. I might even just get one more view up there for you whilst I think of hotels. So, in terms of price range, if you're coming and you've got a lot of money to spend, the other side of the lake, you've got the Four Seasons, the Ritz Carlton, um, President Wilson. Oh, there's a tiny dog here. Hello. What's your name? Is this your dog? Yes, it's mine. Oh, hello. Is it friendly? Is it, is it a girl or a boy? A girl. A girl. I think she likes the microphone. Do you want to say hello? Yep, she likes the microphone. Okay. Hi there guys, we're still in Oviv and I'm, I'm on the bridge, we just interviewed these guys here and then I met you, do, do you want to say, introduce yourself? Sure, uh, my name's Kevin from Tennessee in the yeah. United States. Okay, cool, and he just said to me um, that you watched one of the videos. Yes. So that was, this is good for me because uh, I, it's weird YouTube because you don't know if you're actually helping people. Right. But that you, video was helpful for the... Absolutely. Yeah? And yes. did you find the transport to be as good as uh, yeah, this is very I, I nice. said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think it's great. Yeah, and in terms of cleanliness from a US point of view? Cleanliness, it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. There's good signs, good, good maps. Yeah, so. I think so. And what do you think of the city in general? Oh, it's nice. I've only been here since noon. But uh, oh, you're early then, yeah. yeah. Because Milan is cool as well, isn't it? It's very different. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the air is better here, but the food it's and stuff here is better too. in Milan, though. Probably. Yeah. Cheap, a little cheaper. <laughs> you know, Milan's got expensive, though. Yeah, but I think it's this is very expensive. Yeah. Yes, but it if, is. if you go to the old town, you'll mm -hmm. see the cannons have you there's no like, i haven't been there yet. there's a lovely restaurant there there's two actually one is famous for the fondue les, okay. les amours and okay. the other one is i've forgotten the name of it but they've got helmets from military helmets and the firemen helmets from okay. all around the world and that's a very good plat de jour and then okay. the prices aren't bad and it's in a beautiful location so it's just there literally where the uh, cathedral is okay but thank you I'll for for telling me that i'm actually filming the ov video now okay so what's your opinion on on this part of the city have you been in, in here i just started i just started walking yeah. down so well it seems very pleasant a lot of people are doing aperitivo and yeah but this is in my opinion this is the best part of i might as well just give you a quick briefing okay. now with them watching sure. <laughs> um so where the boats end you've got the the kind of baby beach it's new that wasn't there eight years ago okay. so they built into the water and then on the hill there that's colony that's where the world economic forum is and it's very wealthy there but it's beautiful to go up there okay and then that side over there that's more your nightlife and that's the red light district and the fun kind of crazy okay. side okay. that's uh, like um, a sauna area there and you can go in the, it's like a swimming pool area. It's, it's like five francs for the day. Okay, that's nice. That way you've got the old town Carouge, which is baby Italy. 
Okay. And that's definitely worth going to as well. I, that's definitely on my top 10 list. That's the English garden there. It's pretty nice. And then if you want to see the, um, where the two lakes connect together, the, you go straight down. You see where that tree is at the end between the two buildings? Yeah. If you just keep walking that way to Jean Chon, okay. then you'll see where the Ava and the, the Rhone meet. Oh, okay. And, okay. and that's really cool as well. And it's a hippie part of town. Okay. But in general, I think uh, I'd be curious if you write a message under this video and did you spend more money than you expected? Because <laughs> I think you, you most probably will. I'm not going to be in Geneva long. My family's coming in tomorrow and then uh, we're going to go oh, okay. other I, I, places. After, so. after this gentleman, yeah. Oh, we're, I'm, we, uh, I do a YouTube channel and this gentleman watched one of the videos and came to speak to me. Yeah, but I'd, I'd be curious to ask you some questions about the area as well, if you don't mind. Yeah, but it was a, it was a pleasure. Yes, and yes. But please do write me a comment. Sure, I will. A and just one other thing, where you live, where should they go? Oh, What's in the, the, in the United yeah, States? For other people from India and other places, a, a, a not so f popular thing. Right. Um, so I'd say in Tennessee, the Cumberland Plateau yeah. is a beautiful area okay. with canyons and waterfalls. Yeah, and, and, that's, it's, and it's not very visited. Okay, and what, is it really expensive in Tennessee? No, because New it's, York's well expensive no, now. No, isn't Tennessee it? is a lot less expensive than than New York or Atlanta or, or any big city. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Right, well, thank you so much for okay. that. I, I might even put this as its own video because I'm very chuffed. Sure. Well, you, thank you for making a, a useful video well, for us. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Take care. Have a great trip. Thank right. you. Bye, Higana. We just met, didn't we? Very well. Right. What's what's your names? I'm Ed. Ed. I'm Ruth. Ruth. So I'm Will. So welcome to Geneva. And, and what do you think? Is it expensive? Is it what you expected? Or is it? Were you expecting a bigger city, more stuff? Well, I'll say uh, Geneva is beautiful and uh, what I expected, why am I saying that? Because uh, I read a lot about Geneva before coming in, yeah. more especially when it comes to um, uh, expenditure and uh, how expensive sometimes the place is. Uh, also talking about the infrastructure and the transport system. Well, you should have watched my videos. This is what I do. Very well. <laughs> I tell tourists about things, and you're going to help the tourists now Very well. by saying, would you come again? Yes, uh, I don't mind coming again uh, because I enjoy the place and it's so nice. Uh, the people are also nice. Have, have I, you, love the, I love the beer. Yeah, I like that as well. But have you been to like uh, London or Paris or even Zurich, other cities? Yes, I've been, but uh, I didn't really stay overnight. It was just uh, for a, a, day, a day's trip. So I can't really talk much about it. But for Geneva, I've spent almost about a week. Getting oh, to two wow, weeks that's cool. I think I have much experience in the Geneva land than uh, any other part of the world. So, so what's, what's your favorite part of Geneva, both of you? That's the last question, by the way. What? Very well, I'll say my favorite part is Conneva. Conavan. Yes. Yeah, okay, interesting. I think a lot of people... Have you been on that train, by the way? No, I haven't. Do you know what? You should go on that train, stand up on the front and go... Hur, hur, like that. <laughs> okay. And you should film him. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that if you did that, by the way. Very well. uh, but uh, I'll do it for you if you ask me. No. Yeah. I, I think the best part is... Um, Oviv and then uh, Carouche. The Italian part. Have you been there? Right. I'm going to swap arms because this arm's hurting me. The Italian part, if you go towards... If so, if you go to the old town and then down the hill to Place Neuve and Plan Palais, you get a tram from Plan Palais to Carouge. And that's that's beautiful there. You should, have a, you should eat there. It's the, the Italian part. And the food's very nice. But thank you, because I like to ask other tourists, because that's how you help the, gets, the other yeah. tourists. And Ghana, yes. my last, I have always have another question. So where should I go with this camera in Ghana? 
Well, you want to go to greater Accra, the capital city of Ghana. Yeah. And uh, specifically, you would also want to take a trip to the historic center of Ghana, which is Cape Coast. And do you think with the camera, it's people will... will uh, Very well. People yeah? would really, you know, appreciate to talk to you. Right? Yeah. They enjoy talking to you. They will tell you a lot about Cape Coast and Ghana as well. Well, that's cool, because I would like to start going out of Europe soon. Yeah, and so uh, you're welcome. When you come to Ghana, we are going to host you. Oh. That would, well, that would be very nice. Yes, if you write me a comment, then we can keep in contact. I'll hold you to that. They've yeah. got, they're a witness. To very well. <laughs> All right. But thank you so much. Right. I really appreciate nice that. Thank you. Cheers. Hi there, guys. We're still here. It's a very popular bridge, this, yeah. isn't it? So this, you're living, or you lived in Obi. Um, I used to live in Obi, but now uh, I live in uh, Schenbourg. Shambu. Okay, it's that's uh, uh, further away, isn't yeah. it? But it's it's a nice area. Yeah. yeah. But all the suburbs are nice here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah it's really nice. It's really quiet mm -hmm. too. But uh, everything is actually pretty nice in uh, Geneva because it's uh, always so safe and so many beautiful places. Yeah, I agree. But why did you leave Oviv then? Because this is about Oviv. This video. Um. So. I live because my mom uh, wanted to live, mm -hmm. uh, because she wanted to have a garden. Right. Um, but if it was only up to me, I would have stayed here because it's right near the center. Yeah. I, but I, I, not too much in, you know, like it's just like um, on the on the side and you have like the beautiful jet d'eau. So yeah. And now you've got the new planche as well. Yeah. But, but I wasn't... Um, uh, I already left when they started building it. Yeah, and it was very quick, wasn't it? Because they, yeah. they built on the water. I, I was just curious, the rents in Oviv, do you remember the prices? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, so, like, I know this uh, the road I used to live in was very popular. So that was so. the road that, where I showed you the, 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 the jet, because it's a yeah. cool road because you can see the jets. Yeah. So how much is uh, an apartment there? Uh, I would say maybe... Five thousand or something. Wow! Like to wow. loan, no, to uh, not to buy, but uh, to rent. Yeah, to rent. Yeah. Exactly. And a lot of Swiss people don't buy, do they? Uh, I don't really know uh, this, but I know my mom won't buy anything. She wants to rent. But they, they buy in France normally, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm from France, actually. Oh, I yeah. moved here uh, when I was three, but um, yeah, in France, like uh, my mom bought the house we were in. So. Ah, okay. But, so, but in terms of Geneva, you left, but you would have stayed. Yeah, and exactly. And you said garden. I haven't seen many gardens in Ovi. Yeah, that's yeah. why we moved to Chambord. Yeah, and that My makes sense. But I mean, place. this could kind of be the garden, couldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm, but you know, it's always nice to have like your own privacy, but this is also really nice. Because like you can like sit and just like mm -hmm. I used to have lunch here with my friend when I went out to school. So yeah, okay, it's, really it's nice. cool. But just one last thing, I'm going to swap arms because that one's. In terms of for a tourist coming for the first time, I'm telling them that Oviv is the best place to get the hotel and stay because they're near so many things. They can walk to the old town. Yeah. Where would where would you say is the best place to have the hotel? Um. So Oviv is up to like obviously really really nice because it's as you said like right near the center and you have the jet d'eau uh, but maybe i would say um near uh, the old town interesting yeah because but it's there like uh it depends what they're looking for yeah if it's uh just for a quick weekend stay than OV. Yeah. Maybe for a longer period there, yeah. yeah. But it'll be a lot more expensive. Yeah, it? that's why, but yeah. um, I think it's the old town is really nice too. Yeah. Beautiful places and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, interesting. I was going to do just before you go, uh, we, we talk a lot. But I like to meet the local yeah, people. It's nice. You know, I was going to do a video on dating apps in Geneva. Okay. But people are very timid here, aren't they? Yeah, kind of. So, so, what is it like if, if, if someone was single here in the city? Is it difficult to meet people because it's so That's international? A um, so, if we do a comparison to Paris, for example, Paris is very large, lots yeah. of population. But Geneva is very small, and when you're a team, it's like everyone knows each other because there's a few popular schools but everyone goes to the school mm -hmm. so I would say like meeting new people is actually really easy in Geneva but you know you always like oh you know someone oh yeah I know them too so that's like how you bond with 
new people you meet in right. Geneva, I would say. But, and the, the turnaround's big, so the internationals will come, do some work, and then they go, and then you have yeah. to make friends all over again. That's Geneva, isn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> that's also like really cool about Geneva. Yeah. You uh, can experience having international, international friends. Sorry mm. for my English. No, you speak very good. And that's another thing. But American tourists, especially like that man, like the man who yeah. was just here, he watched one of the videos, but uh, everyone does kind of speak English here, don't yeah, they? Yeah, but that's, um, I'm not speaking English because I uh, live in Geneva, my dad is from Los Angeles, so... Oh, cool, okay, why, yeah. yeah, and he was from Tennessee, yeah. that man. So, if, have you been to New York and LA? Uh, yeah, I've been to New York and LA, but that's the only two cities I've been to. And if you told them you lived in Geneva, what did they say? Were they were they curious? They were uh, kind of impressed because uh, they said that my English were was actually kind of good for someone who lives in Europe, and they were interested of. Geneva. Yeah, Geneva and I what think um, is like. They like it, Americans, don't they? Yeah. I think they like it a lot more than... I think than that's kind of a cliche that mm. Americans have, like, to like, Euro uh, to like Europe, but wait, who could blame them? There's, like, so many beautiful things. Well, yeah, but Geneva, for me, is the best city as well. Zurich's yeah. nice, but Geneva's the best. Yeah, Geneva is nice. I think I prefer uh, Geneva to Zurich. Yes, yeah, so do I, yeah. But the, and the Swiss Germans, they're not too keen on here. Yeah, but ma so mo many of them haven't been. So Swiss Germans need to watch the channel. I do have a lot of Swiss watching, but thank you very much well, for that. Uh, you'll be in the Oviv video. Okay, yeah. well, that's great. And, and just leave them with one other fun fact about Geneva, anything that, you, that they would, might not know. Uh, is this a question? Uh, I don't have a fun fact, but I have a very good restaurant, if I can say it. Yeah, go on then. Okay, so it's actually right over there yeah. called Hunch, and it's a brunch place. Hunch? Hunch, yeah. Okay. And they do, they do like the best like Greek plates. So delicious. So, so Hunch, and it's in OV? Yeah, it's actually right here, and you have a really nice view on the Jeto, that's also why But I that's like actually it. very bloody good information, actually, that because this is oh, yeah. about OV. So that's the restaurant recommendation, Hunch. So thank you very much. Well, it was my pleasure meeting you. No, I'll just... We're going to go and have a look at something else now, guys. So see you in a bit. Bye, bye, bye.